The biggest issue with solar retinopathy is that there's no cure, there's no treatment, and it can happen as early as five seconds of staring at the light. And that's why you're told not to look directly into the solar eclipse on April the 8th. Your retina, aka the back of your eyes, will thank you. The problem with the retina is because it's designed to absorb light, there's no pain receptors. So we can't feel it happening. We can't feel the damage until it's too late. And usually we see that damage four to six hours later. And that damage could appear as... Looking at a straight line might be a little bit wavy or also noticing little blind spots in their vision. And after hearing all of this, now you likely know why solar eclipse glasses are flying off the shelves. Well, I'm here for my solar eclipse glasses exam. I want to make sure these are perfect for April 8th. Do these uh, pass the test? Well, let's have a look. Um, the biggest thing you want to look for is to make sure they're ISO certified. So on these glasses, you'll see the ISO stamp. That alone says to me that because it's been certified that they should be fine. Um, you want to also look at the surface. Um, make sure there's no cracks or scratches, so make sure that silvering is there. Um, and then when you put them on, it's almost like looking, being in a pitch black room. Now there will be a special moment during the eclipse when looking to the sky will be safe. And that's when the moon perfectly blocks the sun and totality is achieved. Yes, it is safe when it's 100% covered. The problem is timing, so I always suggest wearing glasses at all times.